Yeah, he stole my 50 cents. Yes, he did. It is going in the jar. So, this is the jar. My jar. This is a jar that whenever she misbehaves or cause me a headache and I don't take it out at nobody. So, I take the change and I put it in the jar. I'm going to get, I'm going to go in there and get it out. When he's not here. If you touch my jar, I don't care. It is wait. If you touch my jar, I shall know, and you will be the king. Do not touch my jar. What's good, guys? Welcome back. It's M P Seven. This is Key here. And this is Rush, the Jamaican in the building, aka Blended Dread. Wagwan, Wagwan, our good people. Whatever. Whatever to you, too. I'm still upset about these coins. I could care less about your coins. I got my coin, Joel. What's good, though? How about you? Anyways, let's get onto topic. <laughs> There's a whole lot of buzz surrounding um, Kevin Hart's Netflix special. Uh huh. Zero F's given. Some say it was funny, some say they really didn't, it was not funny at all, and then some say they only last 15 minutes of the special. So, we're gonna personally give our, you know, own reaction and comment at the end of what we actually thought of this comedy stand up. Yeah. Special on Netflix. Yeah, we're gonna see what this funny man, this funny guy has to offer, or what we gotta say. I see, I see how is he progressing in, it, in his career. You know, because he's he's growing and he's moving and he's phasing, you know. Yeah, he's back see. into movies. Back into movies, but some people feel like he's more funny in movies than his actual stand up how it used to be. Back when he was he married started with, out. And he started out when he was married he was with hungry. his wife. When he was hungry. Yeah, when he was hungry. But now it's more like mm -hmm. on his grind, always persistently working. Yeah. Alright, let's see how he plays out. Let's see. So we give you our true points. Reaction. What kind of mess was that? <laughs> oh, you want to hear something? Uh -huh. One of the um, one of our viewers said that you look like somebody from Street Moon. I don't know who that is, but I guess you're gonna look it up. Most definitely. I don't know. I don't know <laughs> who that is, but they would say this. You look like a YouTuber called Street Moon. Anyhow, big up to you with those two news. You tell us all them. Stay for you know. Thank you. Much appreciated. Stop it. Sit down. Sit down. I appreciate it. Thank you. Hello. Hi. Kept it a secret because Tom Hanks is a much bigger star than I am. He would swallow my fucking announcement. It's Forrest Gump. You're not going to beat Forrest Gump. No shot. No fucking shot I'm going to beat Forrest Gump. Now, if it was somebody lesser than, I would drop that bitch in a heartbeat. David Hasselhoff. Fuck David Hasselhoff. What am I giving shit about David Hasselhoff? Boom, dropped it. Kevin Hart's got a tube saying Kevin Hart. Hashtag the vid. You know why I call it the vid? Because the closest thing to AIDS, it just sounds as dangerous as AIDS. The vid, you got the vid? Fuck, man. You got the vid, you got the vid? That COVID is close to, as a panic than to AIDS. It's killing a lot of people and it's making a, a widespread. Yeah, it is, is, it up, is up there? there. It is up there. I want to say exactly right next to it, but it is definitely up there. No way I'm fucking positive. I immediately touch my nose twice. Ah, ah, can I do that? Okay. If I, if this I is not a, can I fucking do this two times in a row? I can't touch your fucking nose with the vid. Everybody knows that. Except it's hard. I'm very serious. You're positive. This caused the uproar of my household immediately. That's how this generation lives. Let me tell you guys the scariest things you do to a black man in 1986 if you were a cop sort of feds. <laughs> scariest <laughs> things you can do is tell a black man that you had him on yep. tape. <laughs> uh, 
the defense yeah. came up to you and said, we got your ass on tape. <laughs> you going to jail. This shit said, what? Who? Me? <laughs> on tape? Oh, he started crying. Ah! I'm on fucking tape. <laughs> ah! No. All of y'all going to fucking jail. We got all y'all on tape. Yeah, tell all the friends. Come out, Calvin. Marcus. Terrence. <laughs> They got us, Anthony, you too. So they got us all on tape. We're going to jail, apparently. For this fucking Big Mac. Oh, my God, I can't wait to get this Big Mac. I get the Big Mac. I'm so excited. I pull over. They're bringing that back, back to me. I start fucking the Big Mac up. Smashing it all over my face, everything. Happy as hell. I turn to my left. There's a woman outside the window taping me. She's like, got your ass. <laughs> What the fuck is you doing, lady? She said, mm-hmm. but I got your ass. <laughs> what the fuck you mean, got my ass? What am I doing? I'm so nervous, I dropped the burger. I just dropped the fucking burger. You switched it. We're the weird people now. You look at us like, what the fuck is wrong with that? We're, we're the weird people. I don't know how to fucking act in public. Hey, man, why you staring at What's going on with this? I think everybody knows. Get your hands out your pocket. What's happening, man? Come on. I'm dinner when I see it. They go, they're trying to eat me up in here. Making crazy accusations all over the fucking place. Losing my mind. You must have been You guys have been my life like a successful drug dealer. It's a true story. Too much liquor. My wife says the same things. Honey, you getting old, you're getting angry, you're getting irritable. You need to get out and get back to yourself. You need to get back to your ways of old. You can't live like this. I'm sorry. I decided to start doing stand up. So. I said, baby, right. I need to go and start doing fucking stand up comedy again. That's how I get back to this. That's how I get back to me. I don't like Rob no more. I like this boy named Tim. Instantly, in my mind, I said, my daughter a hoe. This is hoe shit. Oh my God. This is hoe shit. Hoe activity right in front of my face. <laughs> I immediately called the hoe that I knew from the past. Wow. After this is how it went down for her. Three boys back to back. She said, yup, the same way. I said, I knew I was plucking balls in the bathroom. What the fuck is happening? Cigarettes under his arm. I said, do you smoke? He said, you just a look as he was gliding by me. These <laughs> kids today are different. My son and my daughter, man, they're on two different pages. Wait. She makes me laugh. Wait. Always happens. You just seen that? <laughs> that? You just seen it? No, because I thought it was just one man. No, they were in two of them. They were in a, a white mask. Um, first, and then they were in the, the back man. Mm-hmm. Wow. Always have been. Two completely different pages. My son is, he's what you call, what do they call it today? What do the kids call it today? When the kids are, what? Dumb. There it is. I got it. Dumb. <laughs> Struggling. Academically. I know you guys like, don't call your kid dumb. Why not? My. Chip off the old fucking block. It's not like I'm standing up here as a smart ass man. I was dumb as shit too. Worked out for fucking me. So far, dumb is the right way to go in my household. <laughs> it's the right way to go. Private school, private schools breed bitches. That's how I feel. I said it. I said it. I'm not taking it back. That's how I fucking feel. Private schools breed See? bitches. Put <laughs> my fucking comforts on. I'm gonna let it fly today. Everything that I fucking feel, I'm gonna say it. You ever see a grown ass man get punched in the face that went to private school? He immediately looks for a teacher. (laughs) Okay. He gives you five of these. (laughs) Looking for somebody to tell him why. I don't know. Why? We gotta have an arbitration. When's the meeting? I've actually been hit with some amazing greetings in my time. I went to Walmart, I got hit with a green so fucking fantastic one time. I didn't know where it came from. He just slid in my people. I walked in, he was like, welcome to Walmart, you gonna get you some stuff. What the fuck? Where did you come from, man? He's like, you better get you some stuff. We rolling back prices. Then he moved on. He just moved on out the way. I said, what the fuck just happened? What just happened here? I was so blown away by the green. Not only did I go get me some stuff, I broke my neck looking for this guy on the way out. I want him to see my stuff. Hey! Come here, man. Hey! Come here, I want to show you my stuff. Came over, I opened my bag. He's like, oh. You don't come to me and ask.
asked me to be a fucking greeter. I had a number one movie in the box office at the time. I was on the side of the fucking buses. You don't ask me to be the greeter. There's other parents that got kids that go in there and former actors and actresses oh, that you can fucking ask. Oh, 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 that's what you want the fucking front. That's your greeter. This doesn't just happen. Your father worked hard to be able to walk to the front of these fucking lines. There's rules that go with this. You don't just walk to the front of the line. Rule number one, as we are walking to the front of the line, you do not make eye contact <laughs> with none of these fucking people in this line. You hear me? You keep your eyes That's what you do ahead. with Six Flags. You don't fucking That's what you do with Six Flags. We try to cut the line. Because people are going to say things. They're going to say a lot of mean things. <laughs> About me, you, you just ignore them. <laughs> Yeah, yeah. Flags, yeah. Yeah. I know, I know, I know it. I know it's the fame, you know. I, I know, I know the fame. There's still gonna be in that fucking line. There's still gonna be in that fucking line. Blind is red, you know. I know, I feel it. You know, That's sometimes reality. I got uh, somebody that call me out true, you know. My kids processed that. They understood it. Get him on the phone. She said, hey, what's up, Kevin? Hey. Checkmate, bitch. I hung the phone. <laughs> 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 He's a checkmate, bitch. I have one of these jokes with my ex-wife yet. I just want to let you guys know. These jokes are going to come with a price tag attached to them. Right? Yeah. Probably have to buy a Tesla truck or something. Something's got to happen. This is a good oh, fucking so joke. Oh, so this is where the comment shame comes, comes from. Okay. Thought about those so jokes did for a long time. So you did buy her a Tesla. I got to let them fly. It's worth the consequence. Oh. I can send her a couple text messages after this tape and see how she feels. <laughs> Take a shot and get stuck in my chest for three to five fucking minutes. My left side shut down. I get to shaking and shit. I got a fart. Oh shit. I don't know. It's one of them. Something's happening. Making dumb ass faces. I described this to my wife in great detail. You know what her answer was? You don't never want to have fun with me. <laughs> Bitch, I just described a stroke to you. That's a stroke. That's a legal stroke. I'm shutting down. She can't just leave. All right, babe, I'm going out. Cool. <laughs> <laughs> Me and the girls, got it. We probably get fucked up tonight. Do you? I don't know what time we coming back. I would sleep either way. It's fine. <laughs> Searching for give a fuck. There are no give a fuck. Got to a fucking argument. Two reasons. First of all, she asked me this big question. I had explained her that I didn't know. I'll tell you another secret, ladies. After men say we're going out, we actually meet in a parking lot. And try to figure out what the fuck we're doing. We actually have another meeting ourselves. So what's the plan? I don't know. I thought you had it. I didn't have it. I thought you did. No, I didn't. <laughs> of his foot. I'm going to move his ass. I get more confidence as I move around. My coach says, Kevin, stop playing. Let your hands go. What? All right. Ask and you shall receive. I hope he got the weather channel. <laughs> this is about to be some lightning. When you throw a jab, you take a step. Take a step. Let the jab go at the same time. Turn it over. What? Every time. What? What? That's how you throw it. I take my step. I'm about to turn it over. I'm right here. Here it is. I'm about to turn that bitch over. You better brace yourself. Here it come. Oh, it's coming. Right here. I'm right here. Mm -hmm. but I'm about to get here. Here I am. But I'm about to fucking get right there. You better brace yourself. I'm right here. Before I did that. <laughs> I, I immediately lost my vision. I said, for what? <laughs> Liar. Unless he's a storm tracker, okay? Because this is fucking ridiculous. I'm blind. I can't see shit. Ah! I'm blind. Ring the bell. Ring the fucking bell. <laughs> the bell rings. I can't even get to the corner. I gotta follow his voice. To the corner. Ah! As I get to the corner, my trainer, he's like, what's wrong? I said, I'm blind, man. I can't fucking see. He just sliding all over the fucking place, man. I don't want to do this no more. He said, you just going to quit? I said, I don't call it quitting. I just want to do something else. <laughs> he said, what are you going to tell him? I said, I'm never talking to him again. <laughs> I'm, 
My lawyer will talk to him. He's going to jail. I bet you this. He's going to fucking jail after this. What he did to me tonight was assault. That's what the fuck this was. Assault at the highest level. I quit. Mm -hmm. Walked away from boxing that day. <laughs> Walked away. Never went back. Mm. Later on, I decided to look up some tape on Lefty Lou Earl. I would have found this guy. <laughs> so I want to know who he was. I started pressing the help button. Help! 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 Somebody got help! Jose came running in the room. Jose was a 60 year old Mexican nurse. What's up, my friend? <laughs> why? Why? Right. I gotta go to the bathroom, man. Now. I gotta go. Right now. It's okay, man. This is crazy, man. I know. Imagine how I feel, man. <laughs> I can't believe my wife had kept my hard ass. Man. This is crazy. This is my first famous ass. Man. <laughs> Guys, this has been such an amazing night of fucking comedy, dude. It's been such a great night. Such a great, intimate night. We shared so much. I love it. It's such a different vibe. It's a comfortable vibe. It's a sexy vibe. More importantly, it was a vibe that I got to be myself in. But I don't want you guys to leave with just some fucking laughter from jokes. I feel like I can give you more. I want you to know me for more, okay? Because I got more. I got Bop. More. Bop. <laughs> so. What you think about this, Key? Um. Beginning, for me, I was. I did a, a little giggle, a little what, and uh. That it wasn't like ha ha ha, you know, send me back yeah. and you know, leaving me short of breath. It wasn't that type of funny. Funny. Um, he didn't start in the beginning. He wasn't really all that funny to me. He made he got making you laugh. I'm like, I didn't even find that funny. No, the reason why but, I laughed. Hold on. Mm -hmm. But like towards the end, he started to you know Pick start up. picking up. So the joke started to actually you know be funny. And everything, but well, yeah, that's how I felt about and it. To me, it was it wasn't it wasn't all that funny, funny per se. He got some funny jokes here that remind me of stuff that happened per se, maybe in my life or maybe something that happened that I that I knew he said before or something that's happened that I've seen. You mm -hmm. understand what I mean? That's why I'm laughing, I'm laughing at stuff that when he says it, I can actually see it happening. Right? I relate into something. Um, in the beginning, it it wasn't. Put it like this. It wasn't the usual Kevin Hart. You understand what I mean? I have you out there just, just bellowing, laughing from from start to end. You get me? It had a very, a kind of, kind of, it, it wasn't. That was for you. That's yeah, it was an up and down. It, was, it wasn't was straight. straight. It went up, but then it slowly started to climb. But then, no. but as I said, toward the end, I guess, I guess he was trying to find his pace and then more towards the end, he's kind of got into his groove and started to hit some of the jokes then you know his delivery yeah so his delivery in the beginning was like that don't even make no sense as he said what? he was he's in his living room you know just, just phasing you know just chilling i guess he's just having fun just talking to his family like how he would talk to his family when he's trying to tell a joke tell a joke like to his family you know yeah but, but certain stuff hit and then certain stuff definitely didn't hit at all man i'm like yo well, bro like really it? Um, for me, knowing Ke from one to five, I'll give it like a two. You? Same here. I'll give it a two. Yeah. Um, I push it to a two point two. It's not one of his two. best comedy st stand ups to me at all. I like his first first three. Mm -hmm. Laugh in my pain was the funny, yes. and then after yes, that, yes, I can was still like, laugh in that. It was like starting uh, to it started to grow like this. The rest of his comedies comedies them started climbing, to grow like this. Yeah. yeah. It's, I guess he got too much. Um, I guess he got too much things on his plate, so he didn't really. He left off of this. Yeah, like when he's in movies and doing comedy, that's when the I funny side of him comes shine. out. Yeah, and his jokes do hit. Pop. Do do have a hit and miss, but this they they're like you said, it do pop. But here in this stand, like his stand ups right now, it's like a hit or miss. This nah. was a miss. I'm sorry, but. Kevin, this definitely was a miss. Yeah. I could say 
like I, I agree with the person that made a comment on the shade room. I only laughed for about 15 minutes of the yeah. hour special, to mm -hmm. be honest with you. Mm -hmm. And it wasn't a straight 15 minutes where the ha 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 that you make you feel, but the 15 minutes was chopped up yeah, throughout chopped the segment. Up. You get me? It was like maybe two minutes here, three minutes here, four minutes here, three minutes here, then, then everything was like, mm, mm -hmm. like. And then there's people in the background. It was like, ha ha ha, like every minute, they, like, come he on, paid, though. He paid. Either they paid to, to laugh or they was drinking before he came out. Or they was on something. Bop, bop, bop. He, 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 bop. You know? But who knows? But what the outfit that he had on, even though it was supposed to be like a pajamas, it would have been more comfortable if he didn't wear the Jordans. Wear, wear your slides. I'm, I probably think that you, Kevin Hart wears slides when he's in, in his home. He don't wear or like certain people go barefoot in the socks. Yeah, he's he he on stage with socks. He said this is in his home. Yeah, like, you know. Could guess is in his home instead of a private, you know. Um, All our stage. private home yeah. or something, right? Yeah, who knows? You know, but it is what it is. So as I said, we give it a two. You know, we two, 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 two point two. It's not one of his best, but because no. the I could say two jokes that I really like was the Seinfeld one and then the movie theater one. Those were funny to me. Those were fun. Those were found funny. Those, which were, one those, you found right, funny? the Seinfeld one was funny. Um, the Bop one was funny, and also, no, uh, Seinfeld is the Bop. Yeah, no, well, that, and also, I like, I like when he was talking about the, 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 the popcorn joke. That was kind of yeah, funny too. Yeah, that was funny. So we agree both agreed on yeah. that. Yeah. Popcorn jokes was funny, but and then some of, and then some of the stuff he was talking about when he was talking about the people and all that stuff. It, as I said, it kind of um, brought back some recollection. When to he it. don't, when he said he don't like to be around people anymore. Yeah, certain stuff like that, you know, like you know, it's cool. Yeah. All right, guys, we're gonna end this video here. I'm sorry. Please, thanks know. for watching. Comment down below if you watch Kevin Hart's. You and know, tell us how you felt special, about you it. Felt about it. Yeah. Was this Kevin Hart's one of Kevin Hart's best? Did he hit or miss this? Or did you had you laughing like ha 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 ha? Like I guess the guys I'm the, like the people in the audience who was laughing at every little thing he said. You know, and tell us what you feel or felt about them too. You know, if it was if it was staged or not. That you too. Know? That's what I want to know. Please remember to. Like, subscribe, and comment down below. Yes, and please hit that notification bell so you can stay up to date with our latest and greatest videos, guys. Most definitely, since we are slowly growing. Yes, and we are so happy about that. Liking and subscribing. Um, we would also like for you to tell a friend. To make a friend. To keep a friend. So we all can, can be, be friends. friends. Yes, yeah, Zimmy. Ah, big up to Real Real. Big up to Prior Range. Big up to Fire Furnace. Big up to Key, right? You're my partner in crime. Big up to myself, Blondie Dread. And big up to all of our viewers and all of our subscribers out there, guys. Please stay safe. Yes, yeah, Zimmy. Most definitely. We'll see you guys in the next one. Ah, Blondie Dread out. Bye.